Okay, so here's an update. I promised to reveal the haircut as much as I hate it, and um, I really am disappointed. Here it goes on your mark. Oh, by the way, welcome to Gammy's Going Gray. And on your mark, get set, go. There it is. Yeah, you don't need to say anything. I'm not happy. Um, not happy at all. What can I say about this haircut? It's short. Some of you might even say it doesn't look any different. Believe me, it's extremely different. There's nothing back here. There's nothing back here. The sides are much shorter. I mean, much shorter. The top is still kind of long. So let me give you a, a rundown of what happened here. And there it is. I have just a little bit of the, the brown showing through. Just a very little bit. I don't want to get the sun right in my eyes, so let me do it this way. Oh, sun is still in my eyes. Um, so, if you've been watching me, you knew that I wanted to go in and get it cut. Maybe even like the actress. Her name is Melissa McBride. Oh, crud. I'm working, but I'm in the pool. Gotta, gotta stop this and catch the phone. Sorry about that. Um, so, I had to put the visor on or I'd be squinting even worse than I am now. Eyes are very sun sensitive. So, um, I went in and gave her the picture. I was actually wearing my wig. And she didn't even recognize that it was a wig. She thought it was my real hair after all these months. But, uh, so I said, okay, so this is what I'm going for. And, or this, and I showed her the picture of Melissa McBride, and she said, you know, Lainey, that's true pixie. That's really, really short. Why don't we cut it in between the two? Your top is much shorter than the wig's top, and I said, oh, that's because I went in and chopped myself a couple times to get more of the brown. So that's what she did. So she did what I asked. I just don't like it. Um... That's all I can say about that. I don't like it. But it is just hair, and it will grow, and I do have um, my wigs, so I'll just continue wearing the wigs. I've noticed that it's not as curly. You would think the shorter it went, i get curlier, and it's weird. It's less curly, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm going to put on my sunglasses, my glasses slash sunglasses because my eyes cannot handle the sun at all. So these are my new glasses with the clip-ons. Hold on, there's something on them. Um, sorry about that. And uh, these glasses were hands down um, voted better than the last glasses. The, the cat's eyes. Uh, and I think it's basically because they're they're translucent. They kind of go with the gray hair and all that. All right, so how, what more can I? The pool is a little dirty right now, so as soon as I get off, I'm gonna, I need to clean it. So if you see stuff floating around behind me, try to ignore that. All I can say is, I'm in the pool. It's funny, I called a customer this morning. He's a, he's a, I'm a collection. I'm working in collections, if you haven't caught up with me. Um, for a commercial maintenance supply company that sells commercial cleaning supplies and etc. And anyway, so I, I called a gentleman who owns his own farm and he was really funny because he said uh, he doesn't know me from Jill, Jack or Jill, and yet he said, he said, how are you doing today? How's your day going? He goes, well, let me tell you, farming there's nothing in it for farming. You don't make any money. You work, you work your whole life, and you never make any money. And I said, "Oh, I'm sorry." And he goes, "And while you were in the pool all day yesterday, and I was, I was hauling hay." And I'm like, "How did he know I was in the pool?" All day? And I said, I laughed, and I go, "You know what? I was in a pool all day yesterday." He goes, "I figured." <laughs> 
I go, I've been in the pool every day for the last week. <laughs> and I plan on being in the pool for every day this week. Anyway, that's a nice thing of working at home. I can, um, I do most of my work in the morning and then I just bring the phone and paperwork out to the gazebo and people call me back that I left message with and I just finish up through the day. Meanwhile, I can be in the pool. So, hair, don't like it. And that's, there's nothing I can do about that. Don't like the hair. Uh, nails, have you noticed I'm wearing new nails? Let me just tell you, I will be doing a tutorial on this. Um, I've never worn, these are press-on nails. These are press-on nails. I have had gel, I've had um, acrylics, I've had, you know, I've done all that route, but never did press-on. And I love nails in the summer. I'm out constantly, and just like your toes, your, na your hands are... I don't know, more noticeable. In the winter, I don't care. So, but didn't want to spend the money. So I started doing some research on the press-on nails and found a lot of tutorials on press-on nails and realized, holy cow, these things have come a long way from back in the 70s. I think the 70s press-on nails were called Lee press-on nails, right? Am I right? You people were my age group? These are Kiss. They have other brands, but Kiss seems to be the number one. And they also have another, um, Kiss has another line called um, Impress. Now, these are the glue-on. I will be trying on the Impress, and I will do a, a vlog on those when I do them. Um, but there is a lot that goes into doing the, putting these nails on to make them last. This is day six, and they're going nowhere. These things are rock solid. I wash dishes, I swim every single day. I'm very rough on my hands, very rough on my hands. I'm opening lids, I'm using my nails to flick things. They're still, they're still hanging in there. Um, and I found that was because there's certain things you need to do to adhere them to your nail bed securely and that they will last and some people have said that they've had theirs last up to three weeks whereas the box says seven days um, and this is day six and they're not gonna be going anywhere tomorrow so um, that's my new thing is my nails and I love them and I've been getting many compliments on them and nobody knows that they're fake and so um, I'm gonna collect nails like I'm collecting wigs and glasses uh, speaking of my glasses I have ordered a third pair and I will do an unboxing when they come yes my husband said did you just order because it shows up on the credit card he goes did you just order a third pair of glasses I said yeah do you change your underwear and he goes yeah and I go well I have to wear glasses every day shouldn't I have a, a wardrobe he goes but you never did that before and I said yeah I was never 61 before time's running out I hear the clock got ticking. I got to do things now while I'm still here. And speaking of that, another update for any of you who follow me and know what's going on in my life. Um, we will be going today, not today, this week. Today's Monday, by the way, the 20th. Um, to be looking at a, a, a lake, a lakefront home. It's on Ontario Lake. And if you're, you Google Ontario Lake, you'll see how large of a lake it is. It is so big that you cannot see across it on either end. And um, you, I call it my, um, I'm, there's beaches everywhere around this lake. And when you're on one of the beaches, one of my favorites called uh, Fairhaven or Southwick. Anyway, uh, I feel like I'm in Cape Cod. You literally feel like you're on the ocean. You get the same kind of waves beaches, just, you feel like you're in Cape Cod. Anyway, we have, we're going to be looking at a home that's right on Ontario Lake, probably about 40 to 45 minutes from here. Um, it's got a lot, it offers a lot, but it needs a lot of work, and I'll keep you updated. Our, our plan is to buy a lakefront home, sell this home, and with the sale of this home, we are hoping and supposing 
that we will be able to afford the lakefront home, which will be a family place. I mean, my, my son and daughter, son-in-law and daughter have a boat. Uh, we have, you know, um, kayaks and stuff. And th this particular home has a boat launch and a dock. So, you know, we could do all those things, all the things we want to do. We are, and if you haven't figured it out, just look by my tan, we are water and sun people. Uh, why we live in upstate New York is beyond me, but we are water and sun people. We, we strive for this. We love the heat. We love the water. We love the sun. We love to be outside. We, I'm never inside. I mean, today's a work day and I'm out in the pool, right? Uh, so this house has got a lot of amenities, amenities that suit our needs. And um, so we'll see. We're going to take a look at it and hopefully take a look at some other properties that are on the water. We want to be right on the water. We want to be right on the water. If we're going to give up our pool, we need to be on the water. So, and then purchase a second home in Florida. Mm -hmm. A very small place. Probably a double wide trailer. I don't know. In a community, you know, a retirement community. It's somewhere to spend the winter months because where this lake house is, it's north of here and the winters are horrid. And there's no way we would stay there through the winter. Um, we couldn't stay there in the winter if we wanted to. I mean, you could, but we wouldn't. It's the winters are there really, really horrific, and they're pretty bad where we live already. We don't want to go and stay somewhere that's even worse. So that's our plan. Yeah. Uh, some of the family's really thrilled, and some of the family's not happy at all with us, and that would be my grandchildren are not happy. The thought of me not being, you know, five seconds away from them is really distressing to them, and that hurts my heart. It really does, but what can I do? What can I say? So I've started this new thing I thought I'd share on here also, since I'm sharing my life story and my life experiences. Um, my husband started this intermittent fasting, and he needed to lose a lot of weight, and he still has a lot of ways to go, but um, he's lost weight really fast doing this intermittent fasting. He's lost over 35 pounds in a very short amount of time. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna try this. So I started, today is day four of intermittent fasting. And what that means is I go 17 hours without anything to eat in between, which is easy actually, because I just don't have anything after seven and nothing in my mouth before 12, 31 o'clock. So that's almost 18 hours. Am I correct? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yes. Um, it would be 17 hours if I ate at noon, and I usually do it at 12.31. And it's the science behind it. My husband understands it. Um, my daughter, my younger daughter does it. They understand the science behind it. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is that it works. I've been watching it work, so I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I lose any weight doing this. Um, skipping breakfast is not hard for me because I was only usually eating just like a bowl of blueberries or a yogurt for breakfast. Um, so my breakfast was never a big deal, but I guess even just putting anything into your stomach changes your blood glucose and I don't know, a lot of stuff I don't understand. I don't know. Listen, if I could lose some weight on it, I'll be happy, you know? So um, just trying to see if it works without killing myself. Weather here has been absolutely fabulous. I know some of you would not agree with me. You hate the heat. You can't wait for winter. I don't understand people like that, quite honestly. I don't. Um, it's been very hot, but I have a pool, so I have been, we've been fine. I mean, literally just standing in the pool, floating in the pool, Swimming in the pool, just pool, 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 pool. <laughs> Having a great time. Living the life. I have a shirt that says living the life. And I am trying to live my life because 
Ooh, so many years, so many years. I lost so many years with being sick and letting the sickness control me. My LDN, as I've mentioned many times, was a savior to me. But along with that, my decision, my, my mindful decision to function in my sickness was a huge thing. Do I still, I've said this over and over again, I still have issues with being dizzy daily, literally daily. My equilibrium, my woozy, I call it my kaleidoscope head, my brain. I have that not as often, but I do have the dizziness and off balanced and then I just, it's my norm now. It's just my norm. I, I don't know. That's all I can tell you. It's my norm. Um, am I a, you know, a big warrior? Yeah. I consider myself a warrior. I got myself off my couch, out of my bed, and trudged on because everything I tried with Lyme literate medical doctors did nothing. Did nothing. Nothing lasting. And it was a waste of money. I was like, this doesn't cost me hardly anything, LDN. And I realized how much money I was pouring into just even seeing the doctor, let alone everything that they put me on. Because if you have Lyme disease, you understand, you know that insurance doesn't cover any of this crap. So, so there's my hair, guys. Let me take the visor off and give you the... I'm officially old now. <laughs> my daughter yesterday said, I said something about being old, and she goes, you're not old. And I go, um, she's turning 30 in August. And I said, when I was 30, 60 was very old. And she goes, no, I'd say 75 and up is old. And I said, yeah, but I'm kind of really looking the part old now. And she goes, no, mom. I don't know. I don't like my hair cut. You can tell me what you think. By the way, you, anyone who might come on here that is a YouTuber, first of all, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for coming by. I'd be thrilled if you would subscribe. Um, I'm trying to build this this um, platform of going gray and aging graciously and gracefully. But um, if anyone comes on that is actually a real YouTuber and can give me some tips, I don't have any of the the props. I don't have the lighting, I don't have the, the camera holders, I don't have any of that. I don't even know how to do a, a real introduction. I don't know how to do any of that. And I haven't even looked into it because this really was started out as just a, a personal diary. So if you have any tips, I'd be grateful for any encouragement, any tips, and any comments below. I read them, I enjoy them, and I'm very grateful for them. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to reveal, I said I'd reveal it, and there it is. It's in all its glory. I, I don't like it. But my hair does grow fast, and in another three weeks, it might look cuter. Who knows, but she said that she can get my cut to be identical to the wig cut, whether my hair will look like the wig. I can get my hair cut identical to that cut because I literally have the measurements of that whole wig. And when I say wig, I'm talking about Paula Young dance wig is now my all time fave. I may never wear my brown wig again. I don't even have any reason to wear the brown wig. Um, now that I'm completely gray. So if I order any more wigs, they'd be gray and go with what I'm going. Uh, somebody said to me the other day, well, what happens if you change your mind and end up dyeing your hair? And I said, no way, no way. I am not going back to dyeing my hair. No way, it's not gonna happen. This is it, this is Lainey and all her gray glory. <laughs> Okay, I hope you're enjoying the sun and the sky and the water and the, oh my God, the beautiful blue sky. Oh, it doesn't get better than this unless it was 12 months out of the year. <laughs> Ooh, that would be better. See ya, I'm gonna take a swim. Bye-bye.